speak for them coming. I will see in your fifth person. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Amen. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, Lord God, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ, our begotten Son, Lord our God, Man of God, Son of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, to take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of God, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. And the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery and the covenant you established for reconciling the human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that what we celebrate by professing the faith we may express in deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas, the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you, and all the peoples of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you here. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response song. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, 
grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us life. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not recognize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on the shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This is now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Good morning. I was reading a uh, exegete, a person who explains uh, scripture, and I was specifically reading about this gospel passage to refresh my memory. And what the gentleman wrote, uh, he said that this was not. It may not, let me put it like this, it may not have been miraculous event for in the time of Jesus and even uh, in some areas to the modern day, you can have someone on the shore to act as a guide because when you're in the boat, especially as you're fishing and it's still somewhat dark on the waters, you're fishing by light by torchlight and so you may not be able to see the waters as good as someone who's standing on an elevated position over the shore who can look out upon the water and say throw throw the nets over there because i just saw some jumping in the water it may be fish and i thought that's an interesting point because if we stop and we and we put it together in this way the apostles or the leaders of the church, they are, for most, uh, most of us, the precursors of our modern day bishops, of which I uh, am able to offer this mass in union with my bishop for you. The boat is the church. The net, the sacraments, sacred scripture, our tradition. And it's used to bring in the fish, specific number 153. Uh, the thought was that there were a hundred various 
groups of the Gentiles, 50 for the remnant of Israel, and three for the Trinity. In essence, all the world will be brought in to the boat of the church vis-a-vis -vis the sacraments, the tradition, sacred scripture. But all of that must be guided by Jesus, who must be at that elevated position overlooking not a lake, but history. Being able to say, listen to me, I will guide you so that all people can be brought in to the church. Whereas Simon Peter said in the Acts of the Apostles in our first reading, there is no other name except the name of Jesus that can offer salvation for all. And that is why I would encourage us all to use our good common sense to listen with a critical ear to what we hear nowadays, especially when we hear various church leaders say that the Holy Spirit guides the church not from overlooking it, but from the aspect of the fish. It is the fish who know, hey, we can figure out where the net will be thrown so we can choose to go and jump into the net. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I fished a few times in my day. And I don't recall me throwing a line out there and a fish coming from yonder to go, hey man, there's so Shay's bait. Let me go swim over there and take that bait. So listen with a critical ear and a good thought and realize we need to turn to Jesus <coughs> only he can lead his bride, the church, to salvation. Now, mighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way at this day and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our church today. We pray to the Lord. Amen. We pray for Zola Pickett. For whom this Mass is being offered today, we pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah, pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual fruit. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray the solemn exchange brought about by these pastoral offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, Lord. 
But on this day, above all, the Lord be it more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy every land, every people that exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the hymn of your glory, as they claim. Holy, 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 holy God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts you pray by sending down in the spirit of all and the of all, that they may become for us the body of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he would willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Say, the lost, say, the of the world. I'll bring you to the resurrection. You can possess us as you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come, let me pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all that have died in mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have lead you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and put them in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil grace to the of peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Build the Lamb of God, build him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, 
Jesus said to his disciples, Come and eat, and he took bread and gave it to them. Let us pray. Keep safe along we pray those whom you have saved by your kindness, that are redeemed by the passion of your cross and your Son, that they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, you are our King. Protect us from hell. Be our protection in this place. May God defeat him from the Holy Christ. And may the Lord Christ of the Heavenly Host. By the divine power, bless the men of our state. Satan, all the evil spirits who are under the world, speaking the word of the soul. Amen. The divine praise. <clears throat> Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Holy Name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, to God and to man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the most sacred heart. Blessed be the most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Holy Mother of Conception. Blessed be the Lord of Sunday. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the Lord of Jesus Christ. Blessed be God and 